Cia Sierra Michelle, and I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title of today's video, today I will be doing a press on nail business QA. I have always left my DMs open for you all to so ask me questions, if y'all need advice, anything, things of that nature. Um, and it has become a little overwhelming. I've been getting a lot of the same questions over and over. So today I just wanted to answer some of those questions. I also wanted to announce that I have launched my first ebook officially today. It is on sale on my website. So those of you who are interested in starting a nail business, if you've already started a nail business, this is just like a how-to guide to help you cross your T's and dot your I's. Definitely recommend you getting it. Um, it is as low as $30. If you don't have $30 to invest in your business to make $30,000 on up, then I don't know what to tell you. But I'm going to leave the link down below. It is on sale at shopselections.com. Um, I will also be starting a mentorship program for you all. So that way you all can text me personally so I can help you all navigate your way through your business. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, if you need help with anything, feel free to text me at any time. I will be responding at business hours. If you need help getting something, nail boxes, if you need help looking up something, if you need me, just whatever you need. And if you need help with anything, I know I've always told you all, if you need help with your pricing, I've had you all sending me the and pictures of your nails so that way I can help you with your pricing and things it's so many different things that you all be asking me and I would just love to get back to you all faster it's so many dms that I can hardly keep up with so with the mentorship program it will allow you to have that mentor that can help you 24 7 with your business it's a big help it really is so if you are interested in the mentorship program please dm me on my business page just dm mentorship I will send you over all of the information um, that will be at a low rate as well. But like I said, make sure you head over to shopselections.com, get you the ebook. It is not a physical ebook. So the moment that you go ahead and purchase it, you will be provided the information. So it's nothing that you have to wait in the mail for, anything of that nature. But let's jump straight into the video on these nail business questions. So first question, where do I get my boxes from? So you can get boxes from many different places. You can get boxes off of Amazon. You can get boxes off of AliExpress. Get boxes off of Alibaba. If you are looking to have a customized box, I do recommend you going on Alibaba or AliExpress to have that done. Um, what type of nails do I use? I get my nails off of Amazon. I have another video. If you have not looked at it, go check it out because I actually link all of the nails on there. I'm going to put my Amazon storefront down below so that way you can go and get a list of all of my nail supplies that I do use because I get everything off of Amazon. I like things to be very convenient and I like it to come to my doorstep. I do have a favorite nail supply out in Lowell, Merlin, but I don't always have time to go there. But yes, I get my nails off of Amazon and I use full cover nail tips. I get them in XXL. These here are also press-ons. I get these. Um, these are my shortest ones that I have. They come a little longer, but I cut them um, two times with the nail clippers to get this length. And I love this length because once they start to get round on the edges, I just go ahead and I file it down a little more and I just file it back straight. How should I price? So I definitely recommend you pricing based off of the quality of your nails and the quality that you see of other people's nails. It can be something based off the area. So look on Instagram, look at other people in your area that do press on nails, see how much they're charging. I'm pretty sure nails here in my area might not be the same price as nails in LA or nails in Atlanta. So you have to be realistic, base it off of your area. Um, but not even just that, brace your quality of nails off of other people's quality of nails. If your nails look exactly like and of high quality, like somebody selling them for $100, then you should price yours at $100. Now, one thing I will say is when you are starting your business, you do want to start a little low just to kind of get your name out there. But once business sales pick up and things of that nature, go for what you know and just steady keep increasing your prices that's what everybody else is doing and one thing i will say about press on nails versus acrylic nails a lot of people feel like because they're press ones you can't price it at as high as acrylic nails but you can because these nails when you get a fill in with acrylic you're going to go pay that girl again and they're going to be completely gone at least with press ones you can pop them off and you can move them up you can put them back in the box and you can put on another pair. You get longevity with press on nails. You get the versatility with press on nails. So these are actually a luxury over acrylic nails. So go for what you know. 
where do I get my crystals from? So a lot of my crystals I get from the nail supply store. I get it from Michaels. Um, I get Swarovski crystals. Michaels no longer sells them in my area, but they do have a different brand of Swarovskis and they're actually a little cheaper. You could probably go on Swarovski.com. I know a lot of these different people that do nails, they sell um, nail crystals. But now, as you can see, now people aren't just using Swarovski crystals. Now people are using literally any and everything and putting them on nails. They're getting very creative. They are doing charms. They're breaking down bracelets and just all kind of stuff. So like I say, go on the explore page and see what you see that's trending and just kind of go with that. But you can literally use anything. Um, what is the spray I use and what is the purpose for it? So let me see, what is my spray? Hold on one second. So this is the spray that I use right here. Take a picture of it. Best spray, definitely recommend for people who do acrylics and for press ons. So this is nail glue dryer. So basically I use this to dry my stones. So anytime I use um, Zule's nail glue for my gem glue and it's not something that cures under the LED light. So I put that on, I spray this and it dries immediately. For those of you all who do acrylic nails, Sometimes you'll, once you finish sanding the nail and sometimes your glue, no matter how much glue or how little glue you use, sometimes the nail just does not stick to the person's nail for whatever reason. Um, and you can go ahead and you can spray this and this will also allow that tip to adhere to the person's natural nail. So definitely get you some of this. I love it, love it, love it. Um, let's see. What stone glue do I use? I just said that I use Zule's nail glue. Um, what top coat do I use? I live and die by Poochie's top coat. That is the best one that I found thus far. Um, I've tried many different ones from the nail supply store. I do not like that with Poochie's, I have to order it offline. I really wish that she would start selling it on Amazon or something so we could get it a lot quicker. I might actually write her and tell her that we need it, but when I do buy it, you could buy it in bundles. So I buy it three, four, and five at a time just so that way I can make sure that I keep it on hand. But um, Poochie's, that's what I use. Not saying it's nothing better, but I love Poochie's. Um, what LED lamp do I use? I use the Kiera Sky one. Um, my nail lamp was, what was it? It was like a hundred or two hundred dollars. It does come with a warranty. Um, but I love it. That's the best nail dryer that I've had so far. Um, when I first started out, I started using a little cheap one off of Amazon. And sometimes I would find that it would not cure my nails properly. Sometimes I would go to wipe the nails off with alcohol or whatever the case may be. And underneath the nail was not dry. So Kiara Sky, that one has been doing me justice. I love it. I used it for my acrylic nails. I use it for my press ones. It's nice, big, spacious. You don't have to worry about them hitting wall to wall, messing up the nail polish. Love it. Um, do I use Builder Gel on all of my press ons to make them stronger? No, I do not. The only time that I use Builder Gel on my nails is if I'm doing a design like the raindrop, um, like the raindrop design, I use Builder Gel. I know they've been doing a lot of these little line designs and stuff. I use Builder Gel for that. And if I'm encapsulating something, I use Builder Gel. Other than that, all of my press on nails are strictly with gel polish. I do apply two to three coats. I apply a minimum of two coats. But sometimes I apply three, not to make it stronger, but sometimes depending on how thin the color is or you know what I'm trying to say, then I will apply three coats. But once it cures, my nails are always strong. I don't have a problem with, you know, my nails not being strong. One thing I will say, when you do use the longer nails and um, like when they're square, my square long nails are a little more flimsy. So one thing I will recommend is maybe putting an extra coat of top coat on there or maybe it was just a brand that I got. I really don't do a lot of long square ones, but my coffin ones are very, very strong. And I know that's because it like has that narrow point at the bottom. So that gives it more strength versus just long straight square nails. But yes, just add on another, another coat or whatever the case may be and you should be fine. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. How do I measure my nails? In my ebook, I do give you all my personal measurement charts to go off of, but you wanna measure in millimeters across the widest part of your nail bed. This is something that um, your clients can do themselves in order for them to get an accurate measuring. 
this is something that your clients can do themselves and they can see if they're small, medium, or large. One thing I will tell you all is that the nails do expand. So if you do have a set of nails that is a little too big, they can always file them down on the side, which is why I include a nail file in my nail application kit. Or if it's a little too small, they can always press down and they will expand as long as you're using gel polish. If you use builder gel or you use acrylic, you will have to take in consideration that the nails will shrink. So you want to go up a size. How do I advertise? So I advertise based off of Instagram. I use Facebook a little bit. I link my Facebook account to my Instagram. So that way, every time I post on Instagram, it automatically goes to Facebook. But I really don't check my Facebook like talking about. So I strictly use Instagram. Instagram is the best. One thing I will say is TikTok as well. When I was doing acrylic nails and with some of my press ones, I do upload them to TikTok. But strictly, Instagram is really what I use. And then, of course, here I use YouTube to advertise my nail business. Also, word of mouth. One thing I will say is if you see celebrities, a lot of celebrities have P.O. boxes in their bios, or if you know somebody in your area or just follow somebody on Instagram, YouTube, whatever in general, send them some lip press on nails for free. That's one thing that people, you know, don't understand is sometimes in business you have to do things for a really cheap price sometimes you have to do things for free just to kind of get your name out there it's not going to be that way for long you have to just bite the bullet get your name out there and yeah it's okay it's only going to take a little bit of your time and a little bit of your money with your products that you already have that you're going to make money off of anyway so why not go ahead and do it what do I do when my apex doesn't lay flat? So when I first started doing press-ons, I definitely had that problem. I don't know if it was the press-ons that I was using that had like a really big apex in them, but, um, and that's one thing that stopped me from starting my nail business for so long because I was doing acrylics and my friend kept telling me do press-ons, do press-ons, and I kind of started entertaining it, but I could never find press-ons that fit. One thing I will say is once you put the glue in there or whatever the case may be, sometimes the glue itself will fill that little gap and somehow it just works out. Another thing that I will say is you can also put the little stickers on the inside of the nails. But like I said, I'm going to link my storefront down below so that way you could get the link to the actual press on um the actual full cover nails that i use because these i don't have no problem with the apex at all once i started using these i did not have no issues and i love it that's pretty much all of the questions i'm trying to think of some other questions that i have heard it's not a question that i have received but i have a lot of kiera sky nail polish one thing that i will let you all know so i love her white it's very hard to find a white that's of a good consistency i used to use dnd white but i found that it was very thick i did not like it but kiera sky chef's kiss nails kiss nail text kiss whatever you want to call it um i absolutely love it but her top coat is the only one that will work for her nail polish so if you find, and it might not be just with her nail polish, but if you ever find that you are using a gel polish and when you're putting the top coat on the gel polish, you're starting to see separations in the top coat, make sure you take an alcohol, take a, um, either take an alcohol pad or get a cotton ball with some alcohol and wipe off that residue on the top of the nail because some gel polish will leave a residue behind and it won't allow the top coat to adhere to the nail polish. So that's one thing that I found. Definitely use Nakira Sky products. I don't know if it's any other products, but I kind of use the same nail polish brands. I use DND, I use Kiera Sky. I use, what else? It's another brand that I love on Amazon for like different shades of pink and nudes because I do do a lot of French tips. So if you want like that soft flesh tone base, those are perfect. They do come in small bottles. I'm looking over here because I'm looking at them now. Let me see what the name of it is. Gayoy, Gayoy, whatever it's called. But it does come in 7.3 milliliters. So I do have this linked on my Amazon storefront as well. But yes, love, love, love it. Um, like I said before, don't forget to go on shopselections.com, order your ebook so that way it can help you. If you're interested in the mentorship program, please DM me on my business page. Just type mentorship program and I will send you all some more information on that. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I will try to make another video as soon as I can. Yes, I know I have been MIA. 
But y'all already know, if you follow me on Instagram, I have had a lot going on between the passing of my mom, between having a baby. So it's just been a lot. I know I did not do my home, my house tour. I'm still getting that together. I'm finally decorating. This is my new little area, my little walk-in closet that I made up on my full floor. And we're just still kind of getting everything together. This is my closet, my office, just everything. Um... But yes, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. And let me know if y'all want to know anything else. If y'all have any other ideas of videos, please let me know. I am going to be doing some mom videos as well. Um, what else? That's pretty much it. Thank y'all. Until the next video. Later.